Deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, and ribonucleic acid, RNA, are the two types of nucleic acids found in living systems. DNA acts as the genetic material in most of the organisms, and we will study that first. In 1953, there was a race within the scientific community to discover the structure of the DNA molecule. At this point, it was known that DNA carried the genetic code or all the instructions a cell needs to make proteins and enzymes, and it was only later that the DNA structure was deciphered. The structure of DNA as we know it is known as a double helix. The double helix looks like a ladder that has been twisted at both ends. It is made of three component parts, a sugar, phosphate groups, and nitrogen bases. The sugar that makes up the backbone of the DNA molecule is called deoxyribose. It is a five carbon sugar that is interspersed with the phosphate groups, forming a repeating pattern. A phosphate group is a functional group, a compound that gives a carbon chain or ring a particular function, made up of phosphorus attached to four oxygen molecules. The nitrogen bases are nitrogen-bearing compounds, and those found in the DNA molecule are called adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine, also known as A, G, T, and C for short. Adenine and guanine are called purines because they have a double carbon ring. Cytosine and thymine are called pyrimidines and have a single carbon ring. When combined, each of these three parts makes a structure called a nucleotide, which is the monomer, or component part, of all nucleic acids. The sugar and phosphate groups make up the backbone of the ladder, and the rungs are where the nitrogen bases are located. DNA is a long polymer of deoxyribonucleotides. Semi-conservative replication describes the mechanism by which DNA is replicated in all known cells. In semi-conservative replication, the DNA splits into its two strands first due to the action of an enzyme called helicase. Through the action of multiple other enzymes, such as DNA polymerase, each of the old strands is joined by a new strand to ultimately form two separate daughter DNA. Each new DNA has one old strand and one new strand. <laughs>